the deal, man? It's Sha Lumi. I'm with the incredible beat maker from Queens, Lodge Professor, man. G4 TV, yo. You about to go in the booth, man, on the freestyle, man. One on one, man. Know what it is, man. Yeah, yeah, what it is. LP, we in the building. Sha Lumi, yo. This is what it is, yo, yo. Yo, 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 bewitch dudes quick when I speak. I quote biblical, preach wise words of wisdom, follow the lyrical. Five star general, been nice since the embryo. 40 on my focus, 10 cent on my peripheral. Rap scientific, break down every mineral with dual own. I'm selfish with the microphone, I'm a brown skin tone, small frame, big chrome. A buck 20 without it, seven pounds more with it's sewn. Let it be known to God's home. Little man sit on big throne. Check it out, Scooby, it ain't a dude in your team want it. I come around. With the three pound seven with dudes jewels on it. Partner, tell me if you want it. I smoke the big black Dutch dog. Come take a pull on it. 8D, Marilyn Manson. I'm strong like Samson. Get nappy like Hanson without dancing. Keep thugs prancing like they got a piss. I dare y'all to step in the abyss with the shot. Mossenberg, my fan picks herbs. Spurs stay ass on the 41st side curve. Be the antiseptic. Going hard at rap germs with the Desert Eagle. Picking off your big birds. It's a duck hunt. Cause y'all dudes choose the Against the all time greatest, Shalomi, most famous, Rickety Raw. What your dudes want some more? G4, Lars P, we out the door. Yo, we out. One. Early. Fat Girls Holler. We got donuts. I'm from Queensbridge, where a lot of a lot of rappers is from. How I got into it was just basically watching everybody else do it, you know what I mean? And listening to records and listening to different songs. And my first outlook into the rap game, I was a DJ first, and then I went to the, the rapping career. The other rappers from Queensbridge, like Havoc, Nas, which my men brought out, MC Shan, Molly Moll is from my block, so. That's like, I kind of I kind of learned everything that I did know from him by watching him bringing out the equipment and stuff like that. We used to have park jams where I lived at. The first person that I ever seen really, you know, grab a mic and control a crowd was Tragedy Gaddafi, which is, you know, back then his name was MC J Ski, but you know, he, he, he changed it to late on to the Intelligent Hullum. That was my first aspect of, of anybody that I knew rapping and got to see them for myself. That was like my first experience ever. And he lives on my block also. It takes me a little bit more time to write than to just freestyle because I can think about, you know, what I want to get my point across. And I want to get them, you know, to understand what I'm saying. Like a lot of a lot of freestylers, it's kind of witty, but then at the same time, like a lot of times it doesn't make sense. So like a lot of times, like when I rhyme, I like to make sense and I like to make the person that's listening to me understand what I'm saying. Some people just, you know, quick with it, quick with the mind thoughts. And some people is just, you know, better with the sitting down and concentrating on what they need to do. A lot of times... It's witty movement with it, but a lot of times it doesn't make sense. When you get somebody that's good at it, that makes sense, and you can understand them, then, you know, it's excellent. But then you got a lot of people that just try to do it, that really can't do it. And then, you know, you sitting there like, oh, well, what does he have next? Like, does he have a song? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely changed over, 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 you know, the decades. The illest battle I've ever seen in life... Tragedy Gaddafi versus Cormega in the park. About 87. Craziest situation in life. And like, at that time, you know, like they was both on the come up or whatever, you know. Like, Traj was the most youngest Juice Crew member. So, you know, like, and Mega was like, you know, Mega was rhyming, but he wasn't officially where he is now. It was like, you know, well, let's see what you got. And they just... Stood there and got it on, you know what I'm saying? Beers in hand and mics. So it was, it was just crazy. The tragedy Gaddafi won. At that time, he was just lyrically, you know, a monster. Like, he always been intelligent. So, you know, it's like he had, you know, he had certain ways that he would put, you know, sayings and phrases, you know, and just put them together. Just have the, the crowd like, ah, oh, like, wow, you said that? Like, you know. 
not to put in the fact that he was also a hoolum. So, you know, you see him outside doing something bad, but then you also know, like, yo, he's kind of nice, though. So, you know, it was, it was, it was real extreme. <laughs>